actually flying with my friend Lisa, who I graduated with from trainings. I need sleep. I am in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hey! I'm home, I'm home! Yeah. I'm not gonna buy you a gift every single time. I travel way too much. Welcome to the vlog. I'm Jill. This is It's the Donnellys. And today I'm in Maryland. I flew up here yesterday from Florida. I'm getting ready to go on my very first reserve trip as a flight attendant. So um, this is the deal. So if you guys have been watching, I went through flight attendant training, four weeks of that, and then, which was awesome, amazing. I earned my wings. And now I'm a like regular, well, not regular flight attendant. I'm a on probation flight attendant. I am a reserve flight attendant, which means kind of like on call, right? So like, you know how it might be like a doctor who's on call. So that person um, is like going along their normal life, but they there's certain things they can't do. Like they can't travel or they can't, you know, have a cocktail or that kind of thing, but they have, they have to be on call and ready to go. So that's how we are as flight attendants. So for example, I'm on call um, for these particular, these three days. And during these three days, um, I could be called out for a three day trip on the first day or the second day I could be called out for a two day trip or the third day I could be called out for a one day trip. So um, I am, everyone's like, everybody in my class has been like, we have this awesome um, group chat and everybody's like, okay, this is it. You guys are ready to do our reserve trips. Cause the trip that I took before, if you guys happen to see that video, I'm not sure if it's up yet. There was some things I needed to work around um, to make sure that it was okay to put up. But if it was up, I went on my, my very first trip that was scheduled after I graduated training was a was called a line. So I actually knew where I was going, but this when I'm on reserve, so I just have to be near my base, which is Baltimore, um, <clears throat> within a two hour driving distance, which fortunately our house is, which is really good. And, um, I just have to be there when they can start to contact me. So they can start to contact me and call me early in the morning for like, for my flights. So I just have to be there ready, like to take the call, like, Hey Jill, good morning. You're going to blah, 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 be here at blah, blah, blah time. So I was, like sleeping and anxiously waiting my call, my early in the morning call that we hear like sometimes you get called at four in the morning. It's like, ah, I gotta be at the airport. I did not get that call. Instead, I got a text from my um, coworker, my classmate who said, um, guess what? We're flying together. So I was like, what? So I looked at my board, which is my schedule. That's like a flight attendant word for schedule. I looked at my board online and I saw that I'm actually flying with my friend Lisa, who I graduated with from training. So we're going to be on the same flight together, um, actually the same trip together. And the trip is three days long and our trip is going to take us, um, I think we have two legs or maybe three legs on the first day, which is tonight. And we end up in Albuquerque, New Mexico for an overnight. And then the next day, tomorrow we have four legs, which is a pretty long day, especially because it starts in the afternoon and goes like way to the wee hours of the morning. And we end up in Ontario, California, and then we'll spend the night there. And then we have two legs coming back across the United States. So we go from Ontario to Las Vegas and then Las Vegas back to BWI. So I'm very excited and I have been assigned the A flight attendant position, which is the one that does all the public announcements, like all the PAs and stuff. And like, I'm there to greet you when you come on the, tr on the plane. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited. It's, it's the most nerving one because it's the one you need to know the most for, but my friend Lisa will be there with me and it's going to be great. So I'm very, very excited. So what I'm doing now is I'm sort of waiting until I need to report to the airport, which is, I need to report at 4.40 today. So I think I'm gonna try to have um, lunch with my friend, my other friend, Lisa. I've got two Lisas going with me today. My other friend, Lisa, locally, maybe Lori and some other people. Before that, I'm gonna try to go for a run and maybe do some gardening. Um, again, so if you're new to watching, we lived here in Maryland for 22 years and just recently moved to Florida like a year and a half ago. And we kept both houses so um, we can go back and forth because Mike works a lot up here and now I'm working up here. So um, here I am and I'm gonna do some stuff. So I'd like to take you on my trip with me and show you Albuquerque, New Mexico and Ontario, California. Too busy to film while we're flying, but here's a picture of my classmates before we took off. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, which I have never been to before. I'm with my friend Lisa. Hi. 
You guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to be with Lisa. I just finished training two weeks ago. Has it been even two weeks? What is yeah, today? It's been about two weeks. About two weeks. Okay. So I'm on my second trip. I was so nervous I was flying A until I found out that Lisa is my C and Hi. Lisa and I are classmates. Are crazy. Yes, are <laughs> <C's were> crazy. <laughs> Lisa and I are classmates. So of all the thousands and thousands of flight attendants out there who could have been put on my flight, Lisa and I got put together which for my second flight, which is so amazing. So we're having a great time. We landed in Albuquerque. Tonight we're gonna overnight in Ontario, Ontario, California. Yeah. Also, I feel like I've been there with Brennan's water polo, but I'm not exactly sure. If you guys are from Albuquerque or if you've been to Albuquerque, comment down below, let me know, because I'd love to know all the things. However, by the time I get this, it'll be a little bit late, but that's okay. I'll be back to Albuquerque. I like it so far. Stay tuned to find out what we do. Lisa found this local coffee shop called Little Bear Coffee. Look how cute, these little guys. There's the little bear. Everybody's looking at him. So we're gonna go in and have some coffee. We have until um, 3.30 today. We don't have to leave until 3.30 and it is like nine o'clock in the morning. So what we're gonna do is we're having coffee now and then we're gonna go to a place, called, we're in Uptown. We're gonna go to a place called, not Downtown. I can't think of what it's called. She knows Albuquerque, I don't. But then we're gonna have um, some good lunch and walk around. Katie said, mom, when you're in Albuquerque, you gotta get me something. So I'm gonna try to get her a ring or some little piece of jewelry or something while I'm there. And then um, apparently Breaking Bad was filmed here, which I never watched, but friends of mine did. So I guess there's some cool Breaking Bad spots we're gonna go check out. So I'm so excited about this travel and the opportunity to go to different places and be with different people and, and uh, explore different things. So I know where I should bring my family back to. So, so happy to be in Albuquerque. time since I've been here because this is what I did. I started in Florida. I think, did you guys see that? I can't remember if, I, I don't think I vlogged that, but you saw me in Maryland. So I started in Florida um, and commuted to Maryland and then went on my trip. And then um, now I flew back to Maryland and went back to my house and slept. And now I'm flying back to Florida in time to make it for church. It is Sunday. Um, like I say, now it's 4.56 in the morning. I'm catching a flight at 6.45, and, or 6.35, which is gonna get me in around nine. And I'm gonna get a chance to go to church with Brennan and Mike, or sorry, Ryan and Mike. And I'll probably get home before Ryan even wakes up, which is perfect. Because my biggest regret Actually, it's not even a regret. My biggest concern, like the thing I'm fighting against in being a flight attendant is being away from Ryan too long. Um, I mentioned in a different vlog that like he's never home. We have to make an appointment to see him basically because he's got such a social schedule being a senior in high school. Um, but I want to be there when he goes to sleep. I want to be there when he wakes up, that kind of stuff. And any other time, like church is important for us. So I'd like to be there as much as I can. So um, I could have slept in this morning because I got in last night at midnight. We landed at midnight. I got home around one and um, got a couple hours of sleep and now I'm back at it. So, but that's okay. I can sleep on the plane. So you guys, I hope you uh, were following this adventure. This video might be a little bit disjointed because I don't even remember what I vlogged on this trip. We had an amazing trip. It was my very, it was my second trip um, in my flight attendant career. And I flew the A position, which is the person at the front that gives, that greets you on the plane, that gives all the public announcements, um, that then says goodbye to you at the end of the plane. So, or at the end of the end of your flight. It was amazing. It's the position that most people are scared of, my, most new flight attendants, and actually even existing flight attendants um, are nervous about doing and I just happened to get assigned it in my reserve which we could talk about reserve at a different time but in my reserve maybe I already did talk about it I don't know 
you guys, my head is like, I'm telling you, flight attendant, I'm like, I don't know where I am, what time it is. I mean, I know like basically the minutes because we know like if we're on time to take off and that kind of stuff, but the hour and I was in three time zones and wait, one, two, three, four time zones? One, two, yeah, I was in four different time zones. Actually, I never landed in the central time. No, I did. Central Mountain and Pacific. Yeah, see, I'm all like discombobulated. Anyway, what was I talking about before? sound like Katie now. Um, so anyway, so I'm on my way back. And, oh yeah, we had a great trip. That's what it was. My second trip, flew A. Very exciting. It went very well. I love it. I think I only want to fly A from now on. And um, we went from our very first day, we went from Baltimore to Cleveland to Denver to Albuquerque. Then the next day, we went from Albuquerque to uh, Austin to El Paso to Phoenix to Ontario, California. Then yesterday, we went from Ontario, California to Las Vegas, Nevada, from Las Vegas to Baltimore. So we basically traversed the country in two days. So it was really, really fun, and I got a chance to work with my classmate, Lisa. But then the last thing is that we went to Ontario, and uh, in Ontario, I met... Um, Two of our other classmates were flying through Ontario at the same time. So four of us got together, four people in the same graduating class. I'm telling you, there are like 20,000 flight attendants. And the fact that four of us were able to meet um, and, and not, it just sort of randomly happened was amazing. So we had breakfast, we talked, it was, oh my gosh, we spent so much time together. It was so, so wonderful. That was Sydney and Regina, and I will put a picture in here. So it was Sydney, Regina, Lisa, and Jill um, in Ontario. So anyway, I'm headed to the airport. I'm almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and park and go in. Um, maybe I'll vlog a little bit on the plane, but my goal is to go to sleep. I need sleep. So I'm gonna try to sleep on the plane and, um, and go to Florida home. All right, see you guys. I forgot to film when we were in the car. Thank you, baby doll. Always in the house. I missed you. Mwah. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm going to go wake up Ryan. Excellent. Okay. Maybe he'll make me pancakes. Right. I think he's sleeping. Let's go take a look. Let's see. Do, do, do. scratches from his mama. I know. Yes. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi, Eddie. Hi. Oh, he's so happy. Ooh, he's so happy. I'm happy to see him. Mike and I just went to Ryan's place of work, his golf course, and we just had dinner, no. dinner with Callie, and I didn't even think about vlogging, and I'm so sorry about that. I should have vlogged Ryan, but um, I brought gifts home for you and Ryan. So awesome. tonight I will share with Free you. Stuff? Yes, we brought you, I brought you some gifts from my travels. Oh yeah, with, I do so much traveling, but I'm not gonna buy you a gift every single time. I travel way too much, but I think you're gonna like it. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Is it edible? You'll have to see. Do you want it to be edible? I don't know, it depends on what it is. Yeah, exactly, like you wouldn't eat a shirt. Right. <laughs> Okay, very good. But if it is edible, it would be something you would like. I will just say that. Is it from Albuquerque, New Mexico? Or where else could it be from? Ontario, California. Right. Which one do you prefer it to be from? Well, the Partridge family had a great song called um, Point Me in the Direction of Albuquerque. Point me in the direction of Albuquerque. I want to go home. 
So are you hoping that it's from Albuquerque? I mean, it's, you know. All right, it might be Albuquerque. It might be Albuquerque. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, guys. We're gonna go get some ice cream. We just had pizza. Hey, I wanted to share with the boys a little something, something that I got them on my travels. Now, Word? what? Actually, yeah. All right. Absolutely. So this is the thing, though. Don't expect it on every travel because I travel every single week to lots of different places. Kind of an expectation. <laughs> huh? An expectation. Yeah. It's sort of a sort of an initial like, hey, mom is a flight attendant. She went a cool place. She well, probably got like. Des Moines. No offense to anyone from Des Moines, but like maybe there's something very cool in Des Moines. Maybe there's something very cool in Des Moines. You don't even know. Port Chaps. What? Port Chaps. Oh, in Des Moines, maybe Iowa. You know. Maybe. If maybe you're, if you're in if you're at LAX, you know. Yeah, it could be. Oh, oh, I get what you're dropping. He's a Chargers fan. Right. Mm -hmm. um, All right. So. Mm -hmm. what? You ready? What are you okay. So I went to not Dallas. I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Remember? Right. I was in Albuquerque. And in Albuquerque, they have some fancy things. I bought each person a gift, but Brennan and Katie aren't here, so I'm not going to share theirs. Okay, Ryan, close your eyes I'm and look. They're not going to get a gift. They're right. live with us. Right. They're my kids. They're adults. <laughs> we should get theirs. You want their gifts? We should get theirs. We should get theirs. Okay. I don't, think, I don't think gifts. Katie's would fit you, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so close your eyes and open your hands. Again, it's just a little something, something. It's uh, okay, ready, Ryan, go! <laughs> cactus candy? Yes! It's prickly pear cactus candy! <laughs> can I look at it? Yes, you can eat it if you want. I'm confused. Apparently prickly pears are in... Careful. Yeah, careful. It might prickle you. Prick no. Does it smell good? It smells like a wood shop. Oh, interesting. Smell. Doesn't it smell like you're in a... A little bit. Shop? Give it a taste, see what you think. They're sticky. You don't like it? No, it's pretty good. Uh, no. I'm not here. It's actually pretty good. Oh, you really like it? You remember, you know what Prickly Pear? Can you think of a movie that Prickly Pear is in? Yeah, it's a jungle book. Nice. That Wait, might... so it's a, a a Prickly Pear or Prickly... Yeah, Prickly, prickly pear, pear Cactus. Cactus flavored. Oh. Candy. You can eat cacti? A Prickly Pear, you can. Some of them, yeah, absolutely. Some cactus you can eat. And the Prickly Pear. Cacti. Cacti. That's there you go. Anyway, I thought that was fun. That was something you wouldn't be able to get here, tough. for no, example. You know what I'm saying? Don't. We don't have these here. All right, you want to see dads? Yeah, I do. All right, Michael. In, I already told you this, but in um, New Mexico, they're very famous for their hatch chilies. H A T C H. Uh -huh. It's a kind of like chili, like chili pepper. And it's green. So I went to the chili, uh, chili store you, or the sweetie. salsa store. And this, I know you love salsa. Fantastic. And it's hatched Whoa. chili mild. I know. You can share that with Ryan. I love salsa. I don't like hot stuff. No, it's not hot. It's not? It's mild. Look at it. It says mild on it. It has a pepper and a mild. fire on it. Uh, right, but it, it's because it's fire roasted. That doesn't mean it's hot. It says mild in the big... Do you see the big letters? Here, Michael. Let me see the big letters. M-I-L-D. You see that, Ryan? Okay, word. <laughs> okay, word. All right. Look at New Mexico. Made for Ryan's. Huh? Made for Ryan's. That's yeah. delicious. Yes. So Thank you guys you can eat much. that. You're welcome. I'm very excited to have this. Yes, and then I got myself a little something. Let me see what I got myself. Yeah. Okay, hold on one second. I got three it. shirts. No, no, nice. totally a little, little, little something, something. So I wanted to get more hatch chilies, but I didn't have a lot of space in my bag. <laughs> so she sold me some freeze dried hatch, hatch green chilies. Nice. So it's, do you know how light that is? It's really light. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And so she said when they're freeze dried, Ooh, then you can put a little bit delicious. of water. Good. Oh. Put a little bit of water in it, and it um, turns into actual green chilies. And I'm going to put this in our pork fair day. Tough. Oh, great. Very excited about this. Is it going to be hot? No, no, they're not oh. hot. Okay. Yeah, delish. They're yeah, they're going to be delicious. Very thoughtful. All right, you guys. So, what made you happy today, Michael John? Very nice. Uh, you getting home safely. Thank you very much. Yes. What made you happy today, my guy? Uh, work made me happy. Oh, I yeah? My, um, you love working. That's a little good. cactus gummy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Pretty good, actually. Okay. Like, the more I eat it, the more I like it. Excellent. Next yeah. time I go out to Albuquerque, I'll get those for you. Shout out New Mexico. Huh? That's right. Absolutely. Comment down below if you guys are from New Mexico, been to New Mexico, want to go to New Mexico, or have any tips about when you go to New Mexico, what you should do, what you should eat, all go that good stuff. Go down to Go down. Oh. Oh, and I, I have just a quick trivia question for, Bring it on. Um, for comment below. Um, what, um, 
what what group featured the city of Albuquerque in their song? We we sang it in the clip before this. <laughs> but what what's Who's the name of the group that sang it? All right, comment below. Let us know. In lead production. No. Albuquerque. <laughs> All right, you guys, what made me happy today was definitely coming home and going to church with Michael, Michael and Ryan and um, spending the day with them. So thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog, which was a culmination of a lot of different days. But um, comment below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, in the meantime, take a look at this video right here, which is a family trip that we took out west in an RV. Totally fun. Didn't make it to New Mexico. We made it to a lot of other really cool out west states. See you tomorrow. Bye.